Hello and welcome to your practice. Today's practice is six yoga poses for stiff bodies. So a lot of times people say, I can't do yoga, I'm too stiff. Or the image in their mind of someone that does yoga is someone that's really flexible. But yoga is for every type of body. So and especially the stiff bodies. You have to start somewhere because as we age, we start to get a little stiffer. Or if we have a sedentary where we're sitting at a desk all day or we're not moving around that much, we get a little stiffer. So today's practice is going to be six nice yoga poses for stiff bodies, for tight bodies. You need no equipment, so there's no excuse, oh, I don't have a yoga mat, I don't have yoga blocks. We need no equipment other than a wall or a couch. So we're going to use uh, the couch or the wall for a little bit of support for the legs. So the first pose we're going to go into is legs up the wall. We're going to sit next to the wall or the couch and we'll lie on our back and our legs are going to go straight up. So that's a really great stretch for the backs of the legs, the hamstrings, and also the low back. So two tight places that um, are pretty common in most people. Second one is going to be reclined cobbler's pose. So we're going to stay on our back. We'll bring the bottoms of our feet together and our knees will go open and our feet will be against the couch or against the wall. You can even use, um, yeah, you'll, you'll need something wide enough. Uh, a wall. I was going to say a door, but no, you'll need something wide enough because our third pose is going to be wide leg up the wall. And that really stretches the inner thighs and the hamstrings. The fourth one is going to be half happy baby pose. Great for the hips. We have uh, the hips can get really tight. Great for our inner thighs, our hamstrings, and our low back. And the, the fifth pose is going to be that figure four pose. So we'll be on our back and we'll, we'll um, bring one ankle to the opposite thigh and hug the knees in. Great for the glutes and low back. And the sixth pose is going to be a bent knee twist to each side, which is really good for low back tightness. And then we'll just go into a simple little relaxation to let all of those poses kind of settle into the body. So without further ado, we're going to get started down on the floor. So find yourself a wall um, or a couch. So you're going to sit down next to the wall or next to the couch and sit on one side so that the side of your thigh and the side of your arm are right next to the wall or to the couch. And then you're going to come down onto your back. And as you come down onto your back, you're going to scoot up towards the wall or towards the couch so that your thighs, if you're just on a couch, so that the thighs are touching the, the couch. Or if you're uh, against the wall, the thighs and the calves are touching the couch are touching the wall. So we're just gonna be here, arms at our side, palms up. That's gonna let the front of the chest and the shoulders open up. The feet are just slightly flexed, and this is just stretching the hamstrings and the low back. We're gonna take five nice, slow breaths here. So inhale, we'll feel the belly rise. Exhale, we feel the belly fall. Good. Inhale. Nice and slow, exhale, inhale, exhale. Letting those legs stretch, let the back of the, the, the low back stretch. Inhale, exhale. Let's take one more nice slow inhale and exhale and then we're going to bend the knees bring the knees into the chest we're going to go into recline cobbler's pose so bring the bottoms of the feet together let the knees be wide the feet the outside edges of the feet are going to be against the couch or against the wall relax into the low back so this is great for the inner thighs arms at your side palms are up Tuck the chin slightly just so we have some nice length in the back of the neck. Just settle into the pose. Let everything try to relax. Five nice inhales and five nice exhales. We'll inhale, belly rises, exhale, belly falls. So we're just holding the pose. Inhale, exhale. We're letting kind of gravity and just the, the holding of the pose settle into the, the joints, the muscles, the connective tissue. Inhale. Exhale. 
Let's do two more. Inhale. Exhale. Slow breaths. One more. Inhale. And exhale. And we're going to bring the knees together. We're going to stretch the feet back up like where we started. And we're going to take the legs wide. So as wide as feels good for you. There's a slight flex to the feet. And we're going to feel this on the inner thigh. Inner thigh, hamstring, low back. Arms at your side. Palms are up. And you can adjust. If it gets to be too much of an inner thigh stretch, bring the legs a little closer together. Let the legs rest against the back of the couch or this the front part of the couch or the wall. Inhale. Exhale. Try to relax into the twists. Try to let go of any tension in the legs or the hips. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, belly rises. Exhale, belly falls. Inhale. Exhale, nice and slow breaths. Let's take one more. Inhale. And exhale. We're going to bend the knees and bring the knees back into the chest. We're going to go into a half happy baby. Your left leg is going to stretch up. And we're going to take the right hand, bring the right arm on the inside of the right leg. And we're going to hold the outer right calf, outer right ankle, or outside edge of the right foot. We want our right ankle stacked over our right knee. Left arm at your side kind of as a little counterweight here. We'll hold here and breathe. The left leg is just stretching up towards the ceiling. Left foot up towards the ceiling. Left foot flexed. Right foot flexed. So the soles of both feet are lifting up, shining up towards the ceiling. A few nice breaths. So this is great to stretch the hip, the inner thigh, the hamstrings, the low back. Make sure the right shoulder's relaxed down. So if that right shoulder's really lifting up off the floor, move the hand a little lower, hold the right ankle, hold the right calf so the right shoulder can relax down. The right ankle is over the right knee and the right knee is moving down towards the floor. So we get that big inner thigh stretch. Now we're going to roll all the way over on that right side. Bring your right thigh, your right knee down to the floor. And we're going to take that left leg, keep it straight, nice and slow, bring it back over to the right, behind the right foot. So a nice big outer thigh, outer glute stretch on that left side. But we want that right knee, right thigh, all the way down, on, resting on the mat, on the floor. Good. Nice and slow. We're going to bring that left foot, keep it straight, bring that left foot back up to the ceiling, and then lift the right knee and thigh, and let go of that right leg, stretch the right leg up. So like where we started, legs up the wall. Keep your right leg straight, and we're going to bend the left knee. Bring the left arm on the inside of the left leg, and we're going to hold the outer left calf, outer left ankle, or, out, or outer left foot. Both feet are flexed, so the bottoms of the feet, the soles of the feet shining up towards the ceiling. And we're getting now a big stretch on the left hip, left inner thigh, left hamstring. A couple nice slow breaths. Make sure the left ankle is stacked over the left knee and the left knee is moving down towards the floor. The left shoulder should be relaxed. You can always hold the leg, the left leg lower in order to get that left shoulder relaxed. So you adjust, you modify. Now we're going to take this a little deeper. So roll a little bit to the left and let the left thigh, left knee touch the ground. Keep your right leg straight and we're going to exhale and bring that right leg over to the left behind the left foot. Let it just hover there. And we get a big stretch on this outer right thigh, outer right hip and glute. A couple big breaths. Make sure the left thigh is all the way on the floor. 
left knee all the way on the floor and breathe into the outer right hip. Foot nice and slow. We're going to bring that right leg back up. Bring the left leg, left foot back up. A couple of breaths here. Good. And we're going to go into a figure four pose. So bend your knees. We're going to take the right ankle to the left thigh. Both feet are flexed. We'll, you can either hold the left leg with the left hand and the right leg with the right hand. And we're going to move this right knee, right thigh away from us. Or wrap the fingers around the back of the left thigh and use your right elbow to press the right thigh away. So this is a nice glute stretch. We can feel that in the outer right hip. A couple nice, big, slow breaths here. Both feet are flexed. Flexing the feet protects our knees. Make any little adjustments to really try to relax into this stretch. Inhale, belly rises. Exhale, belly falls. Wherever you're feeling this stretch the most, just try to imagine your breath moving to that part or parts of the body. Either imagine the inhale or the exhale moving into that area. Make sure the chin didn't pop up towards the ceiling. So tuck the chin just slightly and let those shoulders relax. Inhale, belly rises. Exhale, belly falls. So nice and slow, we're going to come out of this. We're going to bring the right foot next to the left, and we'll switch sides. So your left ankle is going to come to the right thigh. Both feet are flexed. You can hold the right leg with the right hand and use the left hand to gently push the left knee and thigh away, or wrap the hands around the back of the right thigh and use the left elbow to press the left thigh away. So now we're getting that big stretch on the outer left hip, thigh, glute area. Nice long back of the neck. Don't let the chin lift. We're going to take some nice slow belly breaths. Inhale, belly rises. Exhale, belly falls. Send that breath, either the inhale or the exhale, to wherever you're feeling it the most. Imagine that breath moving through the body to relax and stretch out and soften any tight areas. Jaws relaxed, shoulders relaxed. Let's take one more nice inhale. One more nice exhale. Good, nice and slow, we'll come out of that. We'll bring the left foot back by the right. And our last pose of the six, we're gonna keep these knees bent. We're gonna go into a bent knee twist. So the arms are out at your side. Inhale, and as you exhale, let both knees fall over to the right. Let them fall as far over as you can. You might hear, you might want a little pillow or a yoga block under the outer right thigh for a little support. Let the chest be open towards the ceiling. Both shoulders are down on the mat. If your left shoulder is lifting off the mat, Pick up the upper body and shift it to the right a little bit. That will help that left shoulder to roll down towards the mat. So this is a great stretch for the low back, for tight low back. Big, slow belly breaths. Now the head, you can stay with the head looking straight up, or you can look over either shoulder. Try it in those different positions and see what feels best. I usually keep my head looking straight up, but... See what might feel best for you. And we're just taking those nice, slow belly breaths. Inhale, belly expands. And exhale, belly relaxes. Keep relaxing the upper body and the chest. And we're just twisting from the waist down. Let's take one more. Nice, slow inhale. And one more nice, slow exhale. Now we'll come out of the twist. So inhale, we're going to bring both knees up. Adjust the 
shoulders and the hips a little bit, and then exhale, let both knees fall to the left. So you can adjust, you can put a pillow or a yoga block under that left thigh, outer left thigh. Maybe the left thigh reaches the floor. So see how it feels. We want this right shoulder down on the mat. So if the right shoulder is lifting up like that, then pick up the upper body, shift that upper body over to the left, and that's going to help that right shoulder roll down. Palms are up. Big, slow belly breaths. Get the neck comfortable. You can look straight up or over either shoulder. Inhale, belly expands. Exhale, belly relaxes. Back of the neck is long, upper body is relaxed, chest is opened up towards the ceiling. We're twisting from the waist down. Feel those nice slow breaths. Let the breaths soften the body. Relax the body, stretch the body, twist the body. Jaw is relaxed. Nice and slow, we're going to come out of the twist. So we're going to inhale, lift both knees up. We'll hug the knees into the chest and just roll a little side to side. Roll out the back body, the upper back, the mid back, the low back. Roll a little side to side. Good. And then we're going to roll all the way over to one side, either side, doesn't matter. We're going to come up to sitting. And we're going to stretch out into Shavasana. So come away from the wall. Come down onto your back. Adjust the hips. Adjust the shoulders. Adjust the clothing. One at a time, stretch the legs out. Arms at your side, palms up. Tuck the chin a little bit. Get the weight even on the right side, left side of the body. Let the body just kind of relax and soften down into the floor. Letting all of those six poses that we did settle in now to the body. So we worked our hamstrings, the hips, the inner thigh, the glutes, the low back. So really common places for the body to get tight. And this is a short little practice. You can do it every day. Perfect, beautiful. Do it every day. Take a little time for yourself. The more consistent you are with your practice, the more improvement you will see. Little by little, you'll start to feel the body loosen up. You'll feel those joints get more mobile. Your body will become more flexible. Take a few more nice, slow inhales, belly rises, exhales, belly falls. Let the eyes relax, let the jaw relax. Let the neck and the shoulders relax, arms and hands relax. Let the whole back body relax, the upper back, the mid back, the low back. Chest and ribs relax, the belly soft, belly rises with your inhale, belly falls with the exhale. Let the hips and pelvis relax. Let the legs, let the feet relax. Let the bones inside the body relax. Nothing to do for a few more breaths. And then let's wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes. Let's stretch both arms up overhead. Flex the feet, spread the fingers. 
and stretch one side longer and then the other side longer. And just stretch the side body a few times, side to side, right side, left side. Let the hips and shoulders shift on the mat. Let the arms and legs shift on the mat. Let the head roll a little side to side on the mat. Stretching all the way from the feet to the fingers. Bring everything to center. Relax the arms and legs. Bring the arms down by your side. Let's bend the knees. Bring the feet to the floor. And then we're going to roll over onto our side, either side. Make your way all the way up to sitting. And that is the practice. Six yoga poses for stiff bodies or tight bodies. Nice short practice. Do it every day. Uh, send it to someone who you think might need a little bit of stretching, relaxation. You don't need any equipment. You don't need a yoga mat. You just need a wall or a couch that you can kind of rest the legs, the backs of the legs uh, against. And hit the like button. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, share it with someone. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and you'll get notified each time I put out a new video. I try to put out a new video every Monday. And thank you for joining me today. Until we meet again, namaste.